Hi everyone, Eileen Hull here at Sizzix, and I want to show you one of my absolutely favorite ever dies, the candy drawer. And what it is, is like a little sleeve and then a drawer that you can just uh, store all kinds of jewelry or candy or treasures, whatever you want. So I'll show you how we're going to make it, and then I'll show you some samples. We're going to be using mat board. If you want to cover the mat board with paper or another material, you want to do that first. And you would want to use a strong adhesive, like um, ad an adhesive sheet. And what that does is the pressure of it bonds the paper to the mat board and gives a nice strong um, bond that's not going to peel up. So, But today we're just going to do a plain one, and then I'll show you some samples of what that looks like. So I'm going to take your mat board. I'm using white Sizzix mat board. And you're going to cover your die, making sure that all areas of the die are within cutting range. And then you're going to make your Sizzix sandwich. And run that through. All right, so here's what you get. And I like to put one square inside and one square outside, so I cut an extra one. But you're not, you don't have to. That's optional. I just think it strengthens the box a little bit. Okay, so this here is the outer section, the sleeve that the drawer will slide into. So this is how it goes together, and you're just going to remember that the notch goes inside. So I'm going to add adhes adhesive to that. So I'm going to take my die pick to take this adhesive part off because I have no nails. And you're just going to wrap this around. Make sure that it's lined up and close it and press. So now we have the little slider. Now we'll make the drawer. So we're going to do the same thing, add adhesive to the tabs. And I'm going to keep them all in one strip so that this glue is going to help to adhere the box together. And just lift up. And now I'm going to take this and Fold down my tabs, going on the edge of the table to make sure I get a nice straight fold. And I also need to add adhesive here. It's a little one, I forgot. Okay, so now we're going to bend these around into a square. This is going to go underneath. And I like to do this tab first, and then I know the shape. That I'm working for. So we're going to have a little square here. And then what I do is fold these over and add my square on top. Then you can kind of position it where you want. Now on the inside you'll notice that's not that bad, but sometimes I add another square inside the box just to firm it up and keep it, and it looks prettier too. And you don't really even need to add adhesive to that. And then you're just going to slide that inside your drawer. Now let me show what you can do with it to make it really cool. All right, here we have a cute little box that has candy in it that they have covered the slider part with paper and covered that with a solid and added a beautiful little flower on top. And here we have the same idea, another flower on top with kind of a harlequin pattern. Um, there's a Halloween design, and that's fun. And this here is um, a little Christmas drawer with a snowman head on top. And the grand finale is an apothecary cabinet that Ann Redfern made, and she used the candy drawer to create little drawers for the cabinet. So use your imagination and see what you can come up with to create a really cool candy drawer. 